So today we're going to show you how we set up our AC wiring with the Schneider electrical box. We got our 20 amp fuses for our outlets. It's a, the same brand Schneider. So once you fit them in there, they just pop in like that. Also bought this bus bar for the ground. That is gonna be placed on the inside in here. Just screws in. And here's where the fuses sit. So they just clip into this part right here. So the order, this is for the ground. The green wires are gonna go here. Black wires are gonna feed into the fuse. And the white wires will go to the neutral up top. Just screwing in the ground bus bar Pun here. Intended. And it's gonna be sitting, this is the, on the top, so it's easier to feed the wires through. Easy peasy. Connecting them to the wire outlet by the lever nuts. Just connect all of the colors together. Easy peasy. I mean, we could even, maybe this is weird. That just might not be kind of nice and comfortable. Fuse boxing it up. Got N is neutral, G is green, and then live wire. So like that, and then you just screw it in. I'm gonna get just put on a Phillips head instead. It's really having a hard time sticking in there. I want them pretty secure so they don't pop out. You can probably cut the sheathing back more too. So that's, uh oh. Ruh row! That wasn't supposed to happen. Sp spot weld right here. And then, so you just go like this, and you take your flathead and your rubber mallet, and you just go, and it breaks it apart, you can just pull it, like that, that's one piece, and then there's more, so depending, we're probably going to do the big one, because I'm thinking we wire everything from this big one, instead of having all the holes, mm -hmm. I don't know, it just seems like it'd be easier. And so for each section, you have to do a little, something a little bit different. So this section, when they have the rings like this, what you do is you actually have to basically pop them like that. 
because they're spot welded in multiple parts, so you pry them up. You just go underneath them. See? You just go. You prop them up like that. Then once you get it's kinda of awkward where it is. I might have to take it out. Here, well, let's just take this out. Kind of challenging. This is what you do. You work. It's a workout. You work them away. You gotta work for just it. Just a couple spot welds. Wear them down so they disconnect. Like that. And then that's one. And then we're down to the next section. And that one's different. This one's different again. So there's a spot weld here. Small well here, so then you're gonna hit here. I'll just, I'll just. Oh. Oh, hard time. Much like this one. So what we're currently doing is we're cutting each wire individually so that they go. The, the, the stuff, the outlets are coming from the top, as you can see here. I don't know what's happening here. We're going to have to <laughs> adjust that. Mm -hmm. um, neutral, live. The lives go into the breakers. The breakers are powered by our output power. That's from the inverter. The inverter comes in from the side, and then it puts the live wire to the bus bar. And then we have another wire that goes to the other bus bar. So both of these bus bars are getting powered by the inverter. And then each of these breakers, they're two tandem breakers. It's for four outlets. And that is what I'm doing right now. Cutting these individually, these wires, so that they have different lengths, so that they, it's a little bit more organized, even though I know it probably looks like a disaster still. <laughs> so what I start by doing is I take the, the live wire or the the black wire first so that it fits to my one of my breakers and I'm putting all of the, the black wires to the side just to try to keep it a little bit organized and I hate using flathead screwdrivers but it's even though these are Robertson, they could get away with that. It's just the other ones don't have the right attachment or the right size. So I'm just using the flat. It's getting it done. Make sure it's really tight. You don't go anywhere any soon. Anytime soon, okay. And then I just basically eyeball it. From where the yellow or the yellow, the white is gonna go and the green is gonna go. I just basically go like this. Take a, a snip it's about here. Maybe a little bit less. Make. I can actually just use a marker. Right about there. And that's where I'll cut. Bundaba. Use the strippers, pull those suckers back. And I already have, I already reorganized them actually, the spots for them. All of the neutral wires, I've pushed them over and I already have these ones uh, loosened so that when I, all I have to do is shove it in there and tighten it. And then the last one will be ready for when I do that one. Now, that is what I'm doing. And you don't, it doesn't actually matter. You can use any of those. I just have them going in order from which ones I put in first. And then this one now, gotta measure the green wire. Green wire, I'm gonna try to put here. And we'll just 
just do it right about here. This should get it done. And I see some might still be a little bit long. So the good news about this is you can always just cut them down and make them cleaner. Whatever you like. See my mistake with the white one. Put that one underneath. Doesn't really matter, but. Hmm. This is our kitchen outlet. We are working. So the kitchen is working. All right. So we can flip the, the breaker for that one. Because we're not going to use it yet. We just want to test it and make sure it works. It's number two left. Nope, it's this one. And now it's not working. So I know you turned off the kitchen one. Good. So here is our electrical box where it's going to be sitting right next to the inverter. It fit perfectly in this spot, which is good. I'm gonna be really tired. I'm gonna start it off for you. I'm gonna be this corner. And so, what we're doing is we're breaking these out. I guess this is what you do. Oh, we just are doing that. <laughs> yep. So that we can fit our wires through them. So this one's already set. Essentially how it goes is like this. I'm making this look way harder than it is. Just struggling over there. That's what I said. Uh... So we got them to work. Mm, just putting the lever nut on. How did we get them to work? Just force them into there. <laughs> They're all pretty snug and then hook these up like this. And then you'll just drill a hole, pop these in, and then we'll put the face plate on. This one is for the back. They're just figuring out wherever we want to place this, but that is it. That's the wrap on the AC wiring. We're Yay! Done. We're done. What was that? I give you a high five. That was a light. That was fun. <laughs> <laughs>